And we're gonna pull a card for the week for my little TikTok community and the YouTube Shorts people, because I see you. <laughs> I know you're watching. I'm gonna pull a card from the Lightseer's Tarot deck by Chris Ann. And I'd like to know what is gonna be the message for the week for this community. Uh-oh, it went all the way over there. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Yeah, that <laughs> Wow, I swear this was the card that popped out and it flew halfway across the room. This is the Hermit. It is number nine of the Major Arcana. This card shows a white, blonde, femme-presenting person sitting cross-legged, but they're floating in the air. And it's kind of dark and gloomy outside. There's some dark mountains in the distance, and then we kind of see a path leading up the mountains. The path is lit with some lights. So that's the image description for this card. The Hermit, obviously, um, this is asking, like, do you need a little bit of alone time? Have you been around too many people? Have you not intentionally taken the time to be alone in solitude? The word solitude is really coming through because um, you can feel lonely even when you're around other people, but are you seeking out solitude and intentional time and space where it's just you and you can be present in the moment as well. And she is kind of floating and looking off into the distance. And, um, you know, it can be, you can be in a moment of reflection and not be present. And so the fact that she's kind of floating up in the air is giving me kind of like air sign astrological vibes. This is honestly giving me big Aquarian energy. We just had an Aquarius, uh, we had a full moon in Aquarius. Um, on Monday of this week. Very intense energy for me because I am an Aquarius sun and Aquarians are the aliens. <laughs> like maybe this person is kind of getting uh, <laughs> abducted by aliens. It doesn't really look that way. But the Aquarian is also the like black sheep of the Zodiac. It is, they are the person that, um, I mean, I really value my alone time. I love being alone. I rarely ever feel lonely when I'm alone because I'm, I've always got something that I can be focused on or doing. And so when you are seeking out that solitude, what are you doing? Are you being creative? Are you being reflective? Are you being productive? Are you being, um, yeah. Are you finding time to spend with just yourself where nobody has any expectations of you or even you yourself don't have expectations. You're kind of just willing to float around in the air, let go of the need to be grounded. Um, it's important to stay grounded, but it's important, more important to be balanced. So if you um, do too much grounding, right, that can lead to some stuckness and some stagnation. And she is um, freely floating. There's nothing like holding her up. So are you able to spend time alone and get into that kind of like airy space of ref reflection or creativity or like can you allow yourself to daydream a little bit um it kind of looks like dusk like maybe the sun has just set recently on this card um so are you able to go into that maybe daydreamy liminal space between being awake and being asleep when you're alone where you can just kind of float in the ether for a little bit um, and you don't have to tether yourself to anything you don't have to uh, do anything or set any reminders or alarms to get out of it like you can just allow yourself to be present in the moment but present in a way that's not super grounded or rooted like let's float a little bit let's let's just spend some time kind of like in the ether and like seeing what's coming up and uh you know there's a pretty large body of water that we can tell it's a large body of water but it's kind of in the distance it's not taking up a lot of the card 
the mountain, and so the earth is taking up more of the card and probably an equal amount to the sky. So if we're thinking about spending time between all this air and all of this earth, can you float in that liminal space? Can you spend time there where if you need to ground again, if you need to come back into reality and stay in the present, you're not that far away and there is a path that you it's lit up, it's there. If you need to take it and go get grounded again, it's there, but you're actually safe to kind of just float around in the ethers right now, to be in this space by yourself so that whatever comes to you, you can have an opinion about or you can ha respond to it without the influence of other people and their opinions, um, without having to be perceived by anybody else. Like that is a safe place for you to dream. Um, lots of big Aquarian energy. And I hope this reading was helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your week.